Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I love making these videos and I want to reach a lot of people. So if you could, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel, it helps the channel grow. And we'll be putting out more videos if you like content like this, especially. Hit that like button, share it with your friends, and and let me let me know in the comments what you think about it. Uh, I was searching Facebook and my wife actually she's the one who found this but we were looking for an ac system to put in this shop something to help cool it off because we've got a small one over here and it does pretty good but it's just not cool enough and i had a five ton unit that was in the back and uh it was a good deal but it only lasted about two years and i was kind of tired of having a hot shop and i told her i said if i'm gonna be out here working i need to be at least cool when i can be so I bought this Mr. Cool setup. This is a 24K Mr. Cool Advantage. Um, this is actually a 220 system, and it's called a mini split is what they call them. But it has the inside part, which is over here, and this is the outside part. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to get this unboxed and installed on this video. So y'all stay tuned and check it out. Now, I had to go to the store, and I had to buy this separate. This is a 60 amp, just a shut off. And, you know, I got some wire and some conduit here and some ends to go in the box. Try to keep it as watertight and as we can, you know. And I'm going to walk around here and I'll show you where I'm going to put this. Well, this is actually where we're going to be installing this. We're going to take this old AC unit down and we're going to mount the new AC unit right in here somewhere. Um, I may end up having to pour slab down here, but all right, the way we're going to do this is we're going to set this jack up underneath it to kind of get the pressure off of it where it won't fall to the ground. We're going to put your bucket up on the side of it to keep it from falling back. And we're going to eventually lean it back just a little bit where we can tie it down on the bucket with some straps. And then we'll just move it with the tractor out of the way. And that'll get that big five-ton unit out of the way. Okay, that's got a little bit of pressure on it. Now let's undo this, get this out of the way. Now we'll go start loosening them up. Let me go get us a, a drill. Hey, somebody screwed this joker down when they put it in here. It's loose, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Seems to be. Yeah. 
Wolf. The breeding ground for wolf. Boy. Here's the other one right there. Now it's loose. Okay, we can get a strap around that now. I think we can anyway. Yep. Let's put a uh, put one in this middle right here. Okay. Pull this one out. Okay. We don't get a strap. Pull it out away from it. Yeah. Like that away if you can. Okay. Where you at? First, there we go. Second hole, third hole in the middle. Right right there. All right. right right there. And I'm gonna basically hook them in right here, I guess. Let me let me get the bucket picked up. Okay, pull my two feet. <laughs> All right, I need to go finagle the bucket down. Okay. I want to make sure it's flat instant. There come the wall. <laughs> there you go.
had come up a little. Hard to do at this angle. Right. We good? Y'all yeah. good. Shouldn't be no wires hooked up, right? There we go. I won't take but one little piece of tin to cover that up, will it? Look like it. I don't think it's split in the middle. No way. Yeah. Yeah, one piece. One plus. But that's okay. We can still use one piece. And cut it. Cut it right here. And cut it right there. Because one piece is what? Five ribs, ain't it? How many pieces? How many? There's a rib. One, two, three, four, five. Five ribs. So that'll cover all the way across it. Perfect. One piece. Perfect. Yes, sir. Now we gotta get all this malarkey off of here. I think it's screwed in though. Right here. Star bits. That walk there, he ain't happy, is he? Get out of here. Get out. F-A-F-O. Yep. All right. So I think this will be a good place to put that unit right here. I'm going to put one piece of tin up. We can slide it up there and just cover this whole thing up. Right? Saw a bit on those, too. Look yeah, nice. some of them square bit. <laughs> so, they just small screws. Yep. Some of them square bit. Sometimes... Your last one is always a pain in the butt. That's all right. Get you a good set of uh, Derek vice grips. You can get it right on out. There we go. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Now this was sitting outside on the porch for a quite a long time. Here's the feet right here. I do not believe it come with the uh, wall hookup. So there's no wall hookups on it. So. That must be another kit. It come with this though. This is for the wall cutout. This is the drain hose it comes with. All right. This is the, the side that goes to the outside is right here. That looks pretty nice looking, isn't it? 
What do you think, Pop? Looks good. Yeah, I say so too. Go see if I can't find a mounting kit. At least it's on this side for all the hookups are on this side, so that's a good thing. I already went and bought all this and got me a box there. This is the unit that goes inside. All right, there's the instructions, the remote control, and the power cord that goes in it right there. Sure is nice looking, isn't it? Really nice looking. All right, this is how we wired it. It didn't say in the instructions what wire went where. It's just got numbers, one, two, three, and a ground right here. So we put one is red, two is black, and three is white, which is going to be the neutral. And I did check it on the other unit, on this unit here. And when I checked it with my meter, one is the same as one. Two is the same as two, which is load. So that meant three was going to be my neutral wire, even though it's not the same as this or this, but this and this are the same. So this is going to be a ground and this is going to be a neutral wire right here. Well, this is day two of the mini split air conditioner install. And uh, what we've got today, we've got to build a form so we can set concrete we've got we've got the unit set up here on the desk and we've got the hole put in right there with the cover so all of that looks good we may end up having to turn this cover right here turn it this way so that flat spot will go against the bottom i don't know yet it just depends I don't know, it doesn't really say, I hadn't seen anything in the directions for that, but it would make sense that it would be flat and not show on the bottom of this when this is hooked up. But we're gonna make forms and pour some concrete. Let's get started. All right, I got to get the ground ready. Get all this mess out of here first. We got our frame set and it's all leveled up good and square and we just need to go get some dirt to fill in on it because right now it's pretty deep I would say um, I would probably guess that that is about four and a half inches thick let's see well this is my setup now my concrete mixer here, mixing in some concrete. Got my hole ready to be poured right here. I'm ready to go here in a minute. Have us a slab. a cup to fill up this uh, concrete mixer with concrete. It holds about a bag and a half. So that's all you need to put in there. Gotta reach in here and stir it up every now and then. But this is way better than doing it in a wheelbarrow. 
joker out of the way. Of course I got it plugged in right here where I can reach it. Now let's get all of this done up right here so we can squeegee it out and get it packed in good. I can go in there and get me a board now. And I should have this packed in good in all the areas. And then we'll squeegee this sucker out like it's supposed to be. And go get me a board. I'm sure I've got too much concrete, but a little too much is better than a little too little. Well, this board here is good and flat. I'm gonna skeech it over there and we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't make this concrete roll a little bit. Now let's see. bit too much concrete. It's all good though. We got a place for it. Off right here. Okay. And now we're going to do it again. I'm going to go around with the hammer. I'm going to tap it. Make sure it settles all the way down. Thank you. 
Now we'll let that cure for a little while. Then we'll come back and we'll do the edges of it. Try to get it in there nice and neat. All right, I just got this wired up. So this is gonna be my disconnect for outside. I got it upside down right now. There's no reason to have it right side up. There's no power going to it. So that's my disconnect for the new AC system. And pretty soon we're gonna put that piece of tin over top of that hole. And uh, we're gonna wait on this concrete to finish drying first. It's coming on along though. Well, we got the piece of tin up over the old two holes. So that looks a lot better. Still waiting on the concrete to dry. Still hadn't dried yet, but it's coming around. And there's where it comes out of the uh, air conditioner wall, out of the wall. I got it just stubbed out right there for right now. So we'll tie all that in whenever uh, that concrete gets dry and ready to go. Now it's time to get this bower out. This is my drill. We're gonna drill a hole in that freshly poured concrete out there. And we're gonna put these anchors in. Let me get one open right here and I'll show you. This is them. I picked these up at the tractor supply. And this is gonna anchor down the feet, which is right there and right there. And I already made a template. And I already made a template right here. And you'll see I drew the feet there and these have holes here. And these have slots on this one here. And that's the center line right there, along with the center line there. So we'll go out there and we'll mark all this up and drill it in the concrete. All right, here's the first test fit. Like the bolts went in good and they look good on this side. So that's excellent. All right, I went and got the pipe and this is where it comes out of the wall here and took this cap off here. I'm about to do the electrical work and let me make this a little bit better. And I took this cap here and this one goes in this hole here, like so, just like this other one here does. But I drilled a hole in this one so we can put this wire in it. Here's our wire here. And I'm gonna put this wire through this hole right here. See how it works. The way I'm wiring these is I'm sliding this back a little bit. Kind of hard to do one hand. But anyway, I slide it back like that and I'll loosen this number three up right here. And I'll put this underneath here, just like so. We'll tighten it down like that and we're going to tighten this one down we're going to put it right here underneath this all right a lot of people do their wiring different ways um i suggest that you get a professional to wire it up but this is the way i wired mine i wired one to red two to black and three to white and then L1 to red and L2 to black. And this is your ground. So I put both of these are ones that I'm feeding to it coming from the 
disconnect right here. And I got everything situated, all of this. Uh, my little closure right there is pretty good. Um, that ought to keep wall spot up. I'll put the cover on it and then we'll start hooking up the hoses. Well, we bent the lines, but we've got it connected back. We bent it pretty, pretty good, but we was able to cut it and flare out this end here and flare this end out here. So now we've got a vacuum on it. We're going to see if it'll hold negative 30. and see what it does. You wanna make sure that this is open right here. This is open while you're pulling a vacuum and it'll pull down to a negative 30. And after it pulls down to a negative 30, we're gonna leave it on here about 30 minutes. And then when we come back, we're gonna turn this off right here. And then we're gonna kill the vacuum. You got to turn this off before you kill the vacuum or it'll release pressure back in there and it'll go to regular atmospheric pressure. But let's, let's do this for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back. Well, this is where I bent the tubing. It's just, it just bent really bad. It's real thin, 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 thin wall. And uh, they put this flex on here to bend it on this end, but it comes rolled up and... Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to unroll it and bend it. So be very careful when you're doing it. Luckily, I had a flaring tool uh, like that right there, and I was able to cut it and put a new flare on it. But there's the fittings there. They don't look too bad. And what I'll do here is I'll just slant this down at an angle, you know, and we'll go from there. All right, we're good there. All right, what we're gonna do is, now that we're at a negative 30, we're gonna crack this high side. We're just gonna crack it just to look at the gauges and get a positive pressure. All of this is off. This is off, everything is off. So let's, two, three, four, five, six, and it should be a positive pressure, right? Is it zero? Oh, uh, you're up at about. It's not negative anymore though, right? 55 or 60. Okay, that's perfect. Yep. That's perfect. Now, since I cracked that, now we can take it loose. Now, we're gonna have to commit. It's gonna blow Freon out, but we wanted positive pressure on it. All right, now we've got it loose. So, we'll cover that back up. Okay, now. We'll undo this one first. Slowly. We want it to equalize slowly. All right. Now I'm going to open it all the way. And see that till it stops. Don't force it and go back just, just, just enough to keep it from binding. This one, same thing. back just enough to keep it from binding and that's it we should be able to go turn it on now put the caps back on it these do not get hammered tight 
they just go a little tight. You don't want them falling off. All right, I want to take this, go and hook the power up, turn it over. All right, so whenever we flip the breaker inside, it's going to be hot. So let's clean up all this stuff and go inside and cut it on. Well, the last thing to do, we got the breaker on and nothing blew up, so that's good. <laughs> Anytime something don't blow up is pretty good. All right, we'll put the remotes in the battery and we're gonna kick it on and see if it comes on. Let's hope it does. All right, it says it's 76 degrees according to this thing right here. Oh, there it is. Ha ha. Look at that. 76 degrees. Let's go mode. We're going to put it on cool. We're going to turn the temperature down. To 68. It's kind of quiet, isn't it? And I just put it on swing so it aerates. Oh wow, it was cool. You can stop it wherever you want to, I guess. Uh, Wow, I'm amazed at how quiet it is. Really quiet. And it is blowing cool. And that's on high fan and that's on auto. I mean, fill up. What do you think? Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Good. Okay. This part here is what makes it, I guess, what they call smart. Where you can hook your phone up to it. It's got this little... USB and this hookup goes inside it. I'm going to show you right here where it goes. Just open it up and here's where it goes right here. It'll only go one way, so don't force it. And that's just where it plugs into this and it makes it smart, so we'll. Push that back down and uh, gonna see if we can't hook up to it with the phone. Well, I have to say, this is very quiet. Very quiet. It ain't hardly making a sound out here. Everything is good. All my wiring is good. Everything's holding up. Uh, the drain has got a slope all the way down, and it's got water coming out of it as we speak. So that's good. I'm going to put the cover back on that, and uh, we should be good to go. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun little project. Um, not a terribly hard install, but you do have to have some knowledge of AC and how to hook gauges up and put a vacuum on it. But anybody can do that. You can go to AutoZone, you can rent the vacuum, you can rent the gauges and bring it back and it won't cost you anything to rent them. I've, I had already bought them working on the Lincoln and other vehicles around here, but 
I appreciate you guys watching. I hope, hope you learned something from this. I learned a lot from it, and we can learn together. See you guys later.